Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today I'm going to show you how to make a layer mask in Photoshop Elements 8. Now a lot of you out there have been asking me how do you make a layer mask and what exactly are they used for? Well on Photoshop Elements 9 at the bottom of the layers palette you have this unique little button right here which is a square with a circle in it. And what a layer mask does it allows you to hide pieces of a picture so that the underlying layer will show through. Now I've got this picture here of one of the Marines in my class, Dell, and in the background I've got a picture of Puerto Rico. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use a layer mask using Photoshop Elements 8. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to go back and revert this image to the original image. So there's the image right there. Now I need to make a selection around here because we want to get rid of this background. Now it's a white background so it's going to be fairly easy to get rid of this. I can do that using my quick selection tool right over here. It's the fourth one down, second column over here and I'm going to use a brush about that size. I'm going to click and hold and I'm going to drag it around and then you can notice that there's a plus in the middle of the brush so anything that I add will add to th this selection so I'm going to go ahead and add this and there we go it did a pretty good job of selecting the background here to mask off now I want to go to select because I always want to go in there and I want to refine my edge and what that will allow me to do is see if there's any jaggies in there and you can see right here I'm looking at it there's a few little jaggies right on here now there's different ways that you can look at this refined edge like if you want to be able to look at the whole thing and look at the marching ants here you can do that or you can use one of these other ones where you can mask different parts of the object here to see where it is that your selection is going to be well, I'm going to use my expand and contract, and I'm going to go ahead and contract this. As you can see, it's uh, very subtle, but you can move this slider left and right, and what it'll do is it'll expand or contract your selection. So I've got right now, I've contracted it quite a bit. I've put a little bit of a, a feather on it, and I've smoothed it out some. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK when I'm finished with that, and it's going to make my selection. It's going to take a few seconds here, and there we go. We have these areas selected right here. Now in order to make a mask work what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to unlock this layer. If you've been watching before you can just double click on this layer and it will turn it into uh, what's called layer zero. You can rename it or whatever it is but now I've just essentially unlocked that layer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another picture that I have. This is Puerto Rico or whatever it is in the background. I'm gonna slide this uh, underneath that particular picture and then drag it underneath because I want to be able to mask that background out and let the picture show through. So how I'm going to do this now is I'm going to add another layer which is a transparent layer. I'm going to add that to between the picture that I have and the background that I want to show. And then what I'm going to do is I need to fill this area, the part that I want to show through, I want to fill that area with black. Now, right now I have this selected, and then I want to have the person here selected, so I can hit a Command or a Control shift i and what that'll do is it'll select the opposite of whatever it is that I have selected. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to go to Fill, Edit, Fill, Selection with Black. Now you can also go in there under the paint bucket, choose black and dump black in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and as you can see in this layer palette we have that. So that is the only piece that is going to show up when I'm done and then the other parts where it is transparent or checkerboard the background is going to show through. So let me hit command D to get rid of the marching ants. Now here's where the magic comes. You can either do a command or control G or the better way to do this is hold the Alt or Option key down and click on the line in between your two layers. And that slides it over and immediately you can see that it got rid of the areas that we didn't want. And that is a layer mask. So let me go ahead and click this, hit Command or Control T, and I'm going to increase this in size just a little bit so you can see what the final product look like, looks like. And there we have it, a layer mask using a transparent layer 
and filling that area. Now, why is it a layer mask? Is because if I click on this and I paint with black, use right here, I'm going to go ahead and add black into my foreground. If I paint anywhere black, it is going to add the that particular area of this and you're going to be able to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and control Z that, which is my friend, and you can see now that you have the layer mask. So this is Chucky in Digital Goulash. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. If you have any questions, please leave them and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Cheers! Have a great day!